Hey, everybody. Look who's here. Look where I am. I am in Paducah. I don't even know where I am looking. <laughs> so awesome. Look what look what Comfy Cozy found. It's really right. back in Laura with Comfy Cozy Living. <laughs> and it's so weird that you're over there. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> You're echoing now, aren't you? Yeah, turn this off. <laughs> it's so funny because you're in the opposite spot. Right. Yeah, you I guys. Know that. <laughs> I'm looking for myself over here. Yeah. And I don't know which way to go. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I'm having so much fun. Like, it's, oh, uh, today is like, how am I going to do this when I just want to go have fun? But luckily, L Laura is, is on her lunch break. And technically, so is Mary Beth. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're just going to hang around here for a little bit with the first few items. And then they'll probably have to disappear and, you know, go take care of their uh, their actual duties and everything. And so we're going to just uh, get started. I don't have a whole lot extra to say today because, I mean, it all kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> I am like... I, as soon as this is done, I am on vacation technically. Where am I even looking? I don't even know where I'm supposed to look. I think I'm looking here. You guys, I, this is better than a hotel. The towels are flusher than I, like I could sleep on the towels. It's very best manner. It is amazing. Um, I didn't even make my bed, which is kind of behind me. I don't know if you can kind of see but I got a hot, I'll, I'll, when I'm done, I'll show you guys the basket of stuff they gave me. Um, and they, I got a fat bird. Yes. I got that fat bird that you all saw. It's mine now people. And, um, like my face is going to hurt. I don't know how they're going to drag my butt out of Paducah <laughs> because I am like loving being here. And, um, you, uh, <laughs> and then, and the, oh, it's horrible because like, then Laura had to leave yesterday and it was like, no, you can't, aren't you, don't you want to just stay? <laughs> Are we going to have a slumber party? It's just kind of weird because I feel like we should just all be like, you know, like braiding each other's hair and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. We'll be flipping, <laughs> sipping and braiding. That's right. Yeah. So, um, you guys, I'm not going to probably be the best at like reading comments because, um, yeah, maybe it is time for me to move. I don't know. Um, there's a street that I'm going to go to. It's called husband road. I mean, geez, if anybody would have just told me, I just had to come to Paducah. I mean, I might go, uh, I might, I got, I'm going to be here a while. So maybe I'll, I'll go stay with mama Layman for the night and I'll come out of this uh betrothed <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah it's you guys i just I, I have my own bathroom this room is bigger than half of my house and there's no children here <laughs> and it, the dog actually loves me the cat <laughs> hates everybody the cat like started hissing before like I even got near it like like they were going to use a box to capture it but so they didn't have screaming. to yeah yeah and it wasn't even screaming at me it was just like in general because I was like in the vicinity or something but then today I made eye contact with him and he didn't do anything Bravo. so oh, that's yeah so we'll see maybe you know but they were like um afraid to uh not leave her they had to make sure that they had him locked up in a room last night because mary beth was afraid that the cat was going to attack me in the night <laughs> i just didn't want so, to like scare you to death yeah so she showed me like the emergency way out and like i i found a stick to like beat the cat with if i was so inclined <laughs> to uh defend myself apparently oh my and God. i don't mean to upset any of the animal lovers out there but i would just hope that you love me a little more so anyway uh let's i guess get started with uh the sale let me just tell you that 
um, the process for you guys is the same. If you see something, you know, then you're just going to say, you know, the number and all that jazz. Um, and then at the end of it all, you can email me if you are new. If you are not new, if I've done business with you before, so to speak, um, you don't have to send me anything. I am anal and I keep track of everything. Um, I will be invoicing you tonight for the item, okay? Items, whatever. So I want to get that done and paid for so that I know I didn't do all of this for nothing. But then no shipping yet. I will do the shipping combined in next week's sale. So if you buy something in next week's sale, it's going to be combined. If you don't buy in next week's sale, then I'll just, I'll just ship. And then I will just only bill you for the shipping. So it will keep you kind of like if you have a budget every week, yeah, then you can stay with your budget. And also um, it doesn't interfere with my kind of flow. So um, I hope that's okay with everybody. And I will tell you now, I apologize for the last couple of days, I'm not really responding to messages. You guys, I am in the moment. <laughs> I can't even help myself. Like, I just want to keep hugging them. And like when Laura left yesterday, I'm like, ah, like, just, it's just so weird. Not weird, weird. It's like weird in the best way for them to be here. And it's also so natural because I always talk to them on the Marco Polo anyway. So anyway, you guys, let's get going. And thank you for putting that on there for me. Uh, comfy, cozy living at gmail.com. Yes. So first item up is Hank and Marge and and Marge got a little busted up nose on the on the way here unfortunately oh did you just show Dixie <laughs> here's Hank and Marge they're an old couple she's got her babushka on she's got a little busted up nose I don't know I mean she could probably be you know a little paint would cover that and she'd be fine it, let's put let's put it this way. The look is really in their face, right? Look at them. He's like, oh, God, another day with her. And she's pretty much thinking the same thing. So they don't have any marks other than Doris made them. Doris. But like I said, their names are Hank and Marge. See? You see that? It's kind of not showing but hank and marge are 15 dollars, and it's their number four who needs only 51 more subscribers jackie you or what not sure what you're talking about there I got to try to look on this other thing here, you guys. Well, we'll just kind of go because you know I'm going to have a little bit of a lag. Yes, who? Yes, what? Do you guys know who on, who got 51 more subscribers no, or, or what they're talking about? I'm very thrilled, you guys. I'm so happy um, that my subscriber count is going up. Um, when I left Milwaukee, I think I was at 631 and I'm already at 678. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I know Misty's really pumping me up and I know these guys are too. So, um, and Patrick, uh, don't forget you guys, if you're in the Chicago area for August 29th, um, hashtag comfy trusty meetup. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> So, okay, I don't know if anybody got Hank and Marge. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm not like helloing everybody. I see all your names, trust me. <laughs> um, and let me just say, something came with me. You can probably count on seeing that tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. All right. So they're saying Jackie needs 51. Oh, Jackie for, you need 51 more for what? Crafty Jackie, that's my neighbor. I just call her my neighbor because she thinks I'm sweet, like it would be her next door neighbor. Do you need, you need 51 more for what? Hi, Dana. 
um to get to a like a couple oh, of things. oh wow that's amazing well jackie you might be able to get there today if all these people aren't you know what jackie jackie judas um i remember you're like in madison or something i'm gonna do a milwaukee area meet up too probably maybe like in october it's definitely gonna have to be before like any threat of winter because i hibernate so you guys this this next item i don't think anybody wanted margin pink um this next item. <laughs> i had a hard time closing it yesterday and now i'm gonna have a hard time opening it i was showing this to laura yesterday it's um dragon and phoenix right is that what it was called yes i love that it's um this it's small i mean you see the size of my hand it's this little box and it's um it's it's i don't know if that would be asian yeah it's asian inspired for sure see the inside of it and then there's this miniature um abacus it's what it's called a five column abacus um and laura and i were looking yesterday and talking about it because you guys know that Laura, you know, brought up was brought up in the business, and they these are priced anywhere from like thirty some to forty, fifty, sixty some, right? Yeah. And so, um, you guys can get this for the extremely fair price of eighteen dollars, oh, wow. and it's number fifty three. Number fifty three. Oh, you guys, you guys asked for it. I'm bringing it. I've had another nut sack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that Laura would be interested in the nut sack. But you guys, the best part is that when I bought this, it was in this um, package. And this is what I saw. Salted in the Jumbo Virgin. Jumbo Virgin. I was like, what's a Jumbo Virgin? Virgin what? Well, who would have known? It was a nut sack. Not planters, but it's Whitley's. And look at the big nut. Laura, look at the big nut. <laughs> look at the big nut sack, Laura. <laughs> You're going to make her blush. I know. I'm hiding back here. I'm glad it's not a pecan or a pecan. We get all into a whole thing. Good thing it's just a nut sack. See, oh, guys. <laughs> it's a little bit of a rough sack. <laughs> it's $6 and it's number 24. $6, number 24. Yes, it is a big nut, Christina. There is nothing like a good nut sack. Dana from Southern Mermaid, you got the nut sack. Hey, Laura, do you want to help me with this next item? It's a little yes. piece of pottery. Laura knows all about pottery, don't you? Don't no. you? What do you? What can you tell me about this piece of pottery, Laura? So you're putting it in the spot. Oh my God, what's that? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at how perky her bosom is. You can have to cover her up. <laughs> do I? <laughs> do I have to cover that, you guys? I don't see anything else. She's being more demure on the bottom part. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. But you can. That is so cute. <laughs> it's a piece of homemade pottery. It's a cute little polka dotted bowl. Like a, not polka dot, it's like a purpley. Mm, oh, like lavender. That. It's cute. It would be good for a stash without a lid. <laughs> open stash. Because if you're going to have her, let's face it, you're willing to have an open stash. She's got some big blue eyes. She's just chilling. She is just relaxing. She is $12 and she's number 69. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That's hilarious. <laughs> Next up is this cutie patootie, Mr. Toodles. Mr. Toodles. He's um, a single, just like I, he or she, missing its mate. Shaker, no sticker, but it's a Lefton. It's um, $15. 15, look how cute. $15 and number 55. Number 55. Hi, Misty. Did, did she somebody say hi, Misty? Hi, Misty. Yes. Misty. Oh, hi, hi, um, Blue Feather. Hey, Poodle Schnuda. Hey, Butterfly. Crafty Jackie wants a biker funeral. Okay. I knew I was reading that. <laughs> Vintage Roots Collection, 55. Oh, all right. Vintage Roots Collection. That's Lorianne. All right. Well, you guys, the next item is something that I've been trying to avoid. But then I found these because they're anthropomorphic and they are amazing. Do you want to tell everybody what these are, Laura? Well, let me see. Are you trying to get me again? Let me see. Oh, look how cute they are. Yeah, they're cute. What do they say, Laura? <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like you're setting me up for something. I will hold the tea bag. <laughs> That's all I can say, people. They're tea bag holders. And let me just say, if I could show you on a flat surface, here, I'll use this. <laughs> look how cute they are. They literally stand up. You don't have to pile them on each other. You can just look how cute they are. Anthropomorphic anything is just adorable. But anthropomorphic tea bag holders, come on now. Come on, you guys. These are adorable. <laughs> they are $18 for the pair. And they're number 13. Number 13. They have some crazing and stuff. Yeah, they do. I should be getting closer up with that. But they're adorable. Oh, my goodness. Fern it's only... Who does? Fern Fines. All right. Fern Fines. That's Kim Zapp. Kim. Kim Zapp. Zapp. Kim has a really cute little logo. Oh, really? I can't. I can't little... uh... It's cute. I'll have to see it later. All right, you guys, since I'm in Kentucky, I was trying to kind of theme it out a little bit. Well, you know, the beginning of my sale is really geared toward embarrassing Laura. Mm -hmm. So I admit it. Okay. <laughs> Cats out of the bag. <laughs> but here's a horse, of course, because, you know, Kentucky Derby and all that. Only wish I had a mint julep. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway it at first i thought oh my gosh is it uh chalkware but it's not it's hard but um <laughs> it was it i don't know if this is a resin this could be a heavy resin what do you think it has like a bit of a wooden like splinter on the back so it must have been stuck to something but it, it seems like a heavy resin. Yeah, I think it would be like, I mean, sometimes you say composite. Or composite, like yeah. And But it's made to look like a, uh-oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Uh what, you're frozen up there? Yeah, that never happened. <laughs> uh-oh. There we go. All right, sorry. Don't know what that was. Anyway, it's very cute. It has the little hole for a nail or something. So you can hang it or you can just set it down on the table. It looks like a brushed gold or something. And it is $12 and it's number 41. $12, number 41. It's really cute. I like him. He's really cute. For you equestrian types. Oh, I think... Um, I think these are really sweet too. And I don't know if these are necessarily chickadees. 
<sighs> but this is, hi, Maria. You're not late. I just got started, really. And, you know, I'll go over everything. Um, they, uh, this is false graph. And look, it's false graph. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, I, I'm not sure if it's winter wood or nature wood. Oh, Those are so cute. They are. They're salt and peppers. They're in great shape. Nothing, I don't see any chips. They made the trip in great condition. They're very sweet. I've never seen them on, on their nest. nest. Like that. Yeah. I love those. They're really cute. And I, like I said, I'm not sure if they're chickadees with that stripe. I don't think that's, I'm not sure. I'm not good with all my birds and yeah, stuff. Sure. I, I like birds, but I don't know them all. Anyway, these are $22 and they're number 75. Number 75. They've got like a, well, not a V, but kind of like a V on their back. The next item, you guys, I've had this for a little while, and Laura and I have discussed it via Marco Polo until last night that we had it, an in-person discussion just to kind of um verify hi kim um you're not don't worry about it i've only gone over a few items well i mean you missed the a little bit of fun so you might want to rewatch later but um yeah because uh laura's here for her lunch break oh oops and um so and mary beth's kind of taking her lunch break too so um i'm on location in the guest Sweet at <laughs> Hotel Mary Beth. I liked Mary Beth Manor better. Mary Beth Manor, yes. <laughs> I am in the, uh, I don't know what room it will call it. We'll think of a name for it. <laughs> so, the comfy cozy suite. Anyhow, I have this doctor figurine, this old man doctor. He looks like a Yadro, but he's not. He is made by Price Products from Taiwan. Uh, I don't know how it can say Taiwan and Belmore, Belmar, uh, New Jersey at the same time, but it does. And um, again, if you guys know anything about Yadro, if you look this up, you'll see the Yadros are like eight, 80 bucks and up. Um, so you can fool your friends for the low, low price of $20. And it's number 30. Number 30. You guys, don't forget to like this video, please. And make sure you're subscribed. Yeah. All right, I'm um I'm gonna reshow a few items again this week. Um and I'm unfortunately I don't see L or anybody here yet, but I'm gonna show this anyhow because I can reshow it again. Um this pig, this little cowboy pig. You didn't get to like feel the hat, isn't that weird? Oh wow. I just was like the the hat is just I don't know. It's just different. It's not what you would expect on a little figurine with, and especially with this weird kind of like bow on the tail. And it's an, it's a lip co Let's see there the mark. And it was not a bank. Cause there, I mean, there's like a thing where you think there would have been a plug, but there's no slot. So this is not a bank. Um, but it's just a, a cute little cowboy cowgirl pig. And it's $15 and it's number 85, number 85. My first page is always bad because people aren't all here yet or something. Hi Celeste, you left me the nicest comment the other day. That was so sweet, made my day when I made my night when I saw it last night, I should say. Um, 
Oh, they're back to work. Okay. Um, this covered dish is giving me all the boho vibes. Okay. See the, the lid? It's carved flowers and whatnot. And you can keep some, um, you can keep like some candy stash. You can keep your jewelry in there. You can keep, you know, whatever. You can keep a bottle of nail polish in there, see? Well, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, it's really cute. There's no markings or anything like that. It's just a nice solid piece. It's $8 and it's number 21. Number 21. Hello. Okay, Brooke Lagan, you got that. And these two are making their, uh, what do you call that when it's a second appearance? I don't know. Making another appearance here. They are, I don't think they're brass, but they have the look of brass. And they already have the hooks here. They're two different sizes. They're so awesome. They're going to end up on my wall, you guys. And I don't know if I have room on my wall. I might have to leave them on a wall here in the comfy, cozy suite. I'm not sure. But it would be great if somebody else would buy them. They are $12 and they're number seven. $12, number seven. You guys, this next thing, oh, it's so pretty. And I can't believe what the value on some of these is. It's a dar, dare, D-A-H-E-R, dare, dar. Container made in England. Look how pretty. These blue colors, this um, design, and then this it's not just straight down. It kind of bows out a little bit here. I'm not sure why, but it does. The value of these is like up $29, $39, I think, dollars, $19.99, everything like that. I am going to give it to you for $15, and it's number 52. Number 52. Oh, Kim, I'm so glad you liked it. I was waiting for you to get that. Next up is this Redware shaker. Well, actually, there's the shaker. Yeah, there. There's the shaker. It's a single. It's got a cork bottom. It's cute. It's got like the flowers. It's pretty big. I mean, for a shaker, you know. It's six dollars, and it's number seventy seven zero. All right, one of these. Oh, not this one. All right. This piece of pottery. Okay, who got that? Maria, you got number 70. Maria, California thrifter. This pink piece of pink pottery. I don't know what it is. I just, Tammy wants the owls. Okay. I didn't see that. Thank you. Oh, Tammy, I got you. I see you. Tammy DeVille. So, Tammy, I think if I remember right, yesterday, you said you're in the Milwaukee area. So, please let me know. Um, when I return, we might be able to, you know, meet up. This pretty piece of pink pottery is a pot, you know, like a planter. Does that have any marks? It's got a couple little, like, 
Like that is just a, a little, that looks like a manufacturer little flea bite maybe in that little dip like for where, where pin mark white might have been. Oh, you're in Bedford. Well, darn. <laughs> I knew you were somewhere that I was. Oh, darn. Well, that's, yeah, well, I'm not going that way back home. I'm going the other way. So anyhow, yeah, that's not really a chip or anything. It's a slight defect. Yes, Golden Girl vibes, definitely. And I got more to go with it. But this one is awesome with the swirl, right? Down with the swirl. <laughs> anyway, this is $15 and it's number 26. $15, number 26. This guy, oh, Diana, I felt like kind of bad yesterday because I, I kept seeing the sign of the town that you live in because I was like, that reminds me of something. And then I, I looked at my address book and sure enough, and I don't know how close I really was to you or not. So I, I but I was sending you all the good vibes. Um, you guys look at this guy. Isn't he awesome? He isn't taking it. No, he is not taking it. Look at his eyes. He's, he's, no, he's about to lit some steam out of those nostrils. He is wooden. Okay. He's in really good shape too. Let me show you. Let me show you his underside. His tail. Yes, look at that face. He has seen some things. And he doesn't want to see any more. Okay? He's a cutie. He is $12. And he's number 12. <laughs> $12, number 12. It's funny how that keeps happening. It's weird. Is he scared? I don't think so. No. I don't think he's, he's got these things. He doesn't need to be scared. <laughs> All right, Humpty Dumpty. My girl, Humpty. Are you feeling like you need to drink out of a chalice? Here's a brass chalice. I don't know what this mark is down here. It says, oh, it says made in India. EPN. I don't know if that's a five or what. I have not cleaned this up. It still has some shine to it. I'm sure it would shine right up, or you could just let the patina continue to have its way. I'm a patina girl, so, um, you know, it is what it is. But you guys, isn't this cool? Like at church, I love the chalice that they use. It's silver. And it's got all this, you know, all the ornate, cool, like, decor decoration in it. But this is super cool, too. You could use this for an air plant. <laughs> you could put a, a one of those little um, battery-operated tea lights in here. Or it just looks very cool just in a, in a display. It's perfect in a vignette. I love it. It is $8, and it's number 58. $8, number 58. Oh, you guys, this next piece, it's so pretty. It is. It's very pretty. Look at this color. I promise you that this color is exactly what you're seeing. It's so pretty. It's this great teal green. And then this part where it like comes over the design where it kind of gives it that like white kind of worn look. Oh, it's just amazing. It's a great shape. Just, you know, everybody loves a pitcher, don't you? It's got these three little nubs on the bottom. I don't know what that's all about. But it's in good condition. There's just, um, oh, that wasn't even anything. This little, nope, nothing. Nothing. 
you guys, I don't think things good sometimes as good as I should. And sometimes it's just a little dirt, just a little dried up stuff from the inside. It was a planter, I guess. Anyway, hey, Patrick. Look how pretty it is. It's very pretty. It's um this big. I don't have my little, it's in my purse. I would say it's probably eight inches all the way from, you know. Anyway, it's $15 and it's number 35. $15, number 35. Crafty Jackie, you got it. I'll be able to hand deliver that to you, lady. All right. Next is this cute set of vintage skunk salt and pepper shakers. They have cork bottoms. They are not marked. They are, they have their, their white stripe is quite faded from age. They, they are in pretty good shape. Let me see here. They're, I feel like there was a little, yeah, here's this one little chip, tiny little chip. It's on the back. So you're not going to really see it, right? They're adorable if you love something. Like this kind of critter. They're $15. And they are number 18. Number 18. <laughs> Patrick, you are doing amazing things with my image. I can tell you that. I am enjoying all of it. Even the peanut butter and jelly. These little Hallmark coasters, aren't they giving you all the Jeffrey vibes for the, the uh, Ivy? Aren't they cute? They are paper coasters. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, they're super cute. They are $5 and they're number 49. $5 number 49. You pulled out the coasters just in time for Patrick. <laughs> Those are cute. What, hey, were, Patrick. what were we doing with coasters yesterday when we were talking about Patrick? I don't know. I, I might have some up my sleeve for later. <laughs> I had a set of coasters that never sold and I, I forced gifted them on Mary Beth. <laughs> you know we gotta have our coasters. I gotta yes. go back to work. All right. Bye I'll everybody. See you. I'll see you in a few hours. Buy lots right? of stuff. There's lots of cute stuff here. Yeah. Bye. Bye you guys. Or well bye Laura. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere yet. Denise, you got it. Denise Nasser. Oh wait. Yeah, you got those Ivy. Thanks. All right, I'll see you in a little while then. All right, next up. Oh, um, hey, Mary, Mary Beth? Yeah. Are you working or could you time something for me? Yeah, I can probably do that. I'm going to do a best offer. I think I'm going to do a best offer in this piece, you guys. Give you a little time to take a look-see at it. It's number 701. Look at that. It's really pretty. It's a pale pink. It's quite sizable, as you can see. And there. there's, I'm not seeing anything. It's, there's like a little, like, I would say it's rough right here and right here, but it's not, see, it's just part of the, it's part of it. Look at that other little, like there. That's part of the paint and everything. So it's in great shape. Okay. 
Um, we're going to start the bidding at $12, starting at $12, going up in $1 increments. And I will put in the word start as Mary Beth will hit the, um, as soon as I can anyway. Um, when Mary Beth hits the timer, I'm going to hit start. And then when she tells me time's up, I'll put in stop. The highest number before stop is the winner. All right. And it's starting at $12 for this beautiful piece of pottery. And you tell me. You go. Go. Are we? How long are we going? A minute. One minute. Starting at twelve dollars. Very pale pink, beautiful piece. There's so many, seventy-seven people. Yeah, that's great. To be what I'll be really happy about is if people will bid on this item. <laughs> oh, nobody's bidding. I never picked the right item. <laughs> Like, what is the deal? What is the deal here? 30 seconds left. Okay, 30 seconds. Come on, somebody get this. Starting at $12. Even if you just bid at the minimum, this is an amazing deal. Golly, what a bust. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. All right, Blue Flamingo at $12. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right. Well, there's a thing happening. I like. Oh, it's not even on mine. How weird. Okay, there it is. All right. Well, blue flamingo, Laura, you got this for twelve dollars. Blue flamingo. Woo! Blue flamingo mercantile. <laughs> All right, this next item I was talking to uh, Laura about as well. It's a piece of pink Jeanette glass. It's a double candle holder. It does have a crack or whatever you want to call it, the ship crack. It's just right here, okay? But it's on, like, it's on the back. So first of all, here it is. It's right here. That's all you would see. You won't see that under part. And if you turn it this way, you won't see that at all. Such a pretty piece, this pink. Oh, my goodness. It's really pretty. It is uh, $18. $18. And it's number 64. All right. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> I don't know that I'll be doing too many more offer ups since I, I can barely sell an item today. <laughs> yeah, it is a little fancy for me, but certain things and it's pink. <laughs> so um, this I had in the last sale, but it was toward the end. This is a barrel of beer. Barrel of beer. It's uh, $12. It would make a great like um, vase or just a cool piece of glass. $12 and it's number 20. Number 20. Mary Beth, do you want me to close the door? Okay. All right, you guys, this next piece, um, it's hand-painted. I don't know what the, the sticker's half missing, but I'm sure you all recognize her, her little winking angel with her, um, like, arrow. Her heart is a little bit worn there. She's winking. Her wings are perfect. There's a little wear on the tips, but they are not broken and neither is her her um, halo. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. She's not one-eyed, <laughs> Michelle. She's winking. I mean, she looks a little wonky, but she's like this. 
Well, I gotta do my other eye because of the way it is. Okay, so it's just like this. Wait, yeah. Don't I look just like her? <laughs> sure, Michelle. Anyways, she is ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, fallen angel. Ain't that the truth? She's ten dollars, and she's number eight. Ten dollars, number eight. <laughs> Fallen angel. Out of the time of her life. Oh, Misty. I could have just left it there, girl. Crazy girl. This is a second appearance for this. Hi, Christy. Um, rings and things. It's a cute little like clock. See, it's got the little winder there. Isn't that neat? <laughs> There's it's like a good, and this is the perfect thing for an air plant. This is the cutest little thing. Anyway, um, this it was ten dollars before, now it's eight, and it's number fifty-six. Number 56. Okay, I should save this for a fall sale, but you know what? It's time. People are starting to decorate for fall already. So this little guy, he's like, guess an anthropomorphic pumpkin with his tongue kind of Hanging out, or I think it's more stuck out than it is hanging out, right? <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Oh, Christy, you got number uh, 56, the rings and things. Thank you. So he's got this like spot right here. That's where he leans, that's where he, you set him. So he looks wonky. And then he's got these, his little pipe cleaner arms and legs, see? So you can kind of position them. So he can be like laying that way and you can, like, you know, move his arms. Or you can put his, you know, like, oh me, oh my. You know. So he is $6 and he's number 27. $6, number 27. <laughs> He's drunk. Yeah, well, he looks like he could be a little pickled anyway. <laughs> Celeste, you got him. Now, Celeste, you're going to have to send me your your um, your um real name, your, your PayPal address, and your mailing address. Send that to ComfyCozyLiving at gmail.com. All right, you guys, this next item. happen on the way here because this is not like this before so if you can see right here something broke and I didn't realize it and I stuck my hand in to grab it and I like ripped my thumb open so it's still uh, oh uh, I don't see it's just my phone and stream yard it'll get better I'll, I'll try to mute it again Let me take a drink and give it a minute. You guys, they got me set up. They got me some yummy drinks. They got me all the snacks. My babes. And... I had this over here because I was going to try to open or hold it, hold it up, hold the camera up with this. These I love. There's this really cute, like, candy or uh, 
cherry canister and all these popcorns and these cherry cloths, all the coolest things. And a fat bird. Do you guys see it right there? Wait, is that it? Is that it? That's it right there. Can you see it? Right there. I'll go get it in a minute. I have one set of cards today. Laura. Hi, Laura. So, anyway, you guys, I'm just having the time of my life, anyway. I'm, I'm not going back to Mary Beth Manor. I'm moving in to Mary Beth Manor. Yeah. Um, so, anyhow, I mean, it has this, this chip. Let's call it a chip. But it's such a super cool piece. This is boho to me, but it's also, it fits in really well with modern. It will fit in with all your drip glaze stuff. If you got all that, like if you got all the old wooden stuff. You guys, this is, this is a very, um, it's like a chameleon of a piece. And it's by Party Light. So that's crazy, right? But yeah, just put your little favorite votive or tea, tea light, or you can put one of the, you know, battery operated ones in there, and then you don't even ever have to worry about cutting yourself. But I mean, it's not that bad as long as you know. I just didn't know that it had broken a little bit. So I, I adjusted the price. So now it's only $8 and it's number 10. $8, number 10. command strips probably hang this up because it's very very lightweight or just prop it somewhere yeah super cute it's eight dollars and it's number 43 eight dollars number 43 is the sound still bad you know usually it does do that to me and then it'll get better this is uh not the first time this has happened with me oh it's good now see Okay, Suze, you got that. Suzanne McLean, you got the hobby or Holly Hobby. Okay, you guys, this is the second appearance for this item. It's a uh, like a tiki wood um, bottle opener. Bless you. Super cool, isn't it? He was eight dollars. Now he's only six. He's ready to be manhandled. He is six dollars, and he's number seventy-four. Number seventy-four. Look at his profile. <laughs> Deanna Dill, you got him. <laughs> All right, this next item is making a second appearance as well. I will say I was very surprised. Nobody bought this before. It's very pretty. These flowers, just beautiful. The color of this is amazing. This green, this is an amazing little planter. That's so cool, Deanna. So there's this, see it close up. Little Victorian boot planter. It's $8. 
And it's number 37. Eight dollars, number 37. You guys got 75 people watching. So let's make sure we get me all those thumbs ups, please. Please, please, let's get those thumbs ups. All you have to do is hit that button. All right, Denise, Denise Nasser, you got it. All right, you guys, I had this in the um, sale last week, but it was toward the end. So I saw a lot of people and I missed it. Randy girl, this is for sugar packets. This little Scotty dog and it's a sugar packet holder. Goes for quite a bit online, I will tell you that. It's, um, I mean, I think it's a Scotty dog. I'm not good with these kind of dogs all. <laughs> Goals, Deanna Dill. Goals, right? Anyway, this thing is super cute. He is $15 and he's number three. $15, number three. You put your sweet and low or whatever in there. So cute. I mean, you could put toothpicks in there. You could put Q tips in there. You can do whatever you want. Who am I to tell you? Who am I to tell you what to do with your dog? All right, you guys. This one is so precious. And the there's one chip right here. I mean, come on. It's on the back. You know you're not even going to ever notice that that's there. Look at this beautiful little angel. And what's more spectacular than the number one birthday? Isn't that just the cutest? Her wings are intact. There might be a tiny, is that the tiniest flea bite? I don't even know. You can't really tell. See, when you can't really tell, then I don't even think that that it might be, but you can't tell. But look how sweet she is. She's a Joseph's original. Yes, her colors are great. It's Puda Schnuda. The colors you're seeing are exactly the colors that they are. I'm not kidding. That's what drew me to it. I was like, oh, I like the colors. Because, I mean, these are not all my thing. I think they're cute. They're not all my thing. But this one is, I just love her coloration and the number one and everything. The size of her. She's a little bit smaller, but she's spectacular. She's $15, and she is number 78. Number 78. Um, this next item, oh, Teresa Bryant, you got it. This next item, you guys, I've heard so many things. And so I'm finally just going online. I'm, I'm selling this now. I can't try to go somewhere else that I don't have, like, the outlets for, you know, like, um, eBay and all that. And honestly, like, I just... I'm not that person. Like, I, I mean, I, I trust me, I want to make money, but I, I don't know if I want to sit there for weeks and weeks and weeks to try to get, you know, $28 on something or just come here and, you know, get eight. So this is a TWA plate. Um, believe it or not, these kind of things are quite collectible online. It's like restaurant wear, it's, but it's like, I guess you call it airline wear. Okay, or that's what I'm calling it today anyway. <laughs> so this is like a TWA, like snack plate, let's call it. Or it could be like a little sandwich, right? Um, I, you know, personally, I just, you, you could use it for, you know, in the kitchen or bathroom and put your soaps or something or whatever. Or you can just, you know, make yourself a little, you know, vignette. Anyway, it's $8 and it's number 32, number 32 for the TWA plate. Because I'm running out of room, not running out of room, it's just 
like I didn't think about this pile that I have here. <laughs> okay, this next item. Yes, TWA has been gone for quite some time now. <laughs> Hi, Stella. Wait, Stella. Did you go back to your name instead of unfinished vintage? Did you go back to Stella Maldonado? Which I love your name anyway, so. Anyway, you guys, these are Polish plates. On the back of this one, the little one, it says Monica, to Monica, from Grandma Victor, Christmas 85, from Poland. Guess who else is from Poland? I'm half Polish, not from Poland, but I have family in Poland. So these are very lightweight, actually. They have hooks already on them. See? Um, and there. This one is bigger than my head. This one is smaller than my head. They are a beautiful pair of plates. They are $12 for the set of two. And they are 46. They are wood. Did I say that? They are wood. They're beautiful. They are $12, number 46. Okay, I got you, Stella. Tammy. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, 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 wow. A bunch of people got that. Terry Sarsanella, you got it. Terry Sarsanella, you got the Polish plates. I put the other plate. Oh, there. All right. The next item, I've had this before too. Um, this is a brand new coach. I know this isn't like a vintage item, but you guys, sometimes you just have to use your, your platform <laughs> to your advantage. So this is brand new. Fuchsia pink. There's the tag. Zip shut. It's like a blue leather tab. Okay. It's it was twenty five dollars. I'm marking it down to twenty. Twenty. And it's number sixty three. Number sixty three for twenty dollars. Oh, Rebecca, I'm not sure, but you know, I'll reshow things. <laughs> I wish, Jackie, I wish. There's plenty available still. <laughs> All right, this next item is a single, well, it says, yeah, it's a twin flat sheet, okay, by Monticello, or Monticello, however you say it. Um, it is 50% polyester, 50% cotton, 100 threads per square inch average, super soft, no iron muslin. Um, this is by Canon, see? And it's this red, white, and blue stripe. This blue is at the top, okay? And then it's a red, white, and blue stripe. This is a flat sheet, twin flat sheet. And it's $5. It's number 36. Number 36. <laughs> I think a lot of little boys had this set. 
when I was a kid, like during the seventies, like probably, I mean, I wouldn't know cause I was only in girls rooms. Michelle, you got it. Michelle at Mermaid Cove gets these, the, the twin sheet. Next item is another one of these items that online is just the pricing. Holy moly. Um, it's like, a, it's not gilded, but you know what I mean? It's like that gold, gold gilding or something. It's by Guildcraft. <laughs> Open it for you. See how the lid, okay, there's that. See how this lid is? It's so cool. It's like this extra, you know, it's not just this thin, it's not going to bend. It's not thin. And it, yes, it is embossed. Yep, embossed. Perfect word, Carrie. It is embossed. And the pricing, like I said, is all over the place. Um, so I went with a very low $12. And it is number 11, $12, number 11. And it's quite large. You put a lot in here. <laughs> okay. This is the second appearance for this item as well. This is the donut phone. Oh, Rebecca, no, I did not. I uh, oh, it marked it down to $20. So, Rebecca, if this is what you want, you got it. Uh, it's number 63. This donut phone, hello. It doesn't rotate, but it's got the you poke, you, you know, push button. Isn't this super cool? Hmm. I'm gonna tell you what. Even if you just had this to look at, I think it's cool. Um. The person that I bought it from said she it might have been from Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel or something. Pottery Barn, I don't know. I can't tell anything from looking at the bottom. There's a ringer, there's a ringer volume, there's a receiver volume, and there's a pulse or tone. <laughs> if it was pink, I don't know if I'd get rid of it. Do you know what I'm saying? This is just super cool. Anyway, it was $22. Today, it's $18 for the donut phone. And it's number 44. Number 44. You guys, make sure you're on the live chat, not the top chat. In case I didn't remind you of that before, which I probably didn't because I'm a little distracted myself. <laughs> All right, Teresa Bryant, you got the phone. You guys, this planter is adorable. Look at the puppies. Look at them. And the little wheels have hearts on them. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> it's a planter. And I don't know what the maker is. It's got a number 17 in there. And it also has this crack, okay? So this crack is, it's there, like right there, through to over here. But it's that kind of crack that it's probably been there for a long, long time. Okay, 
So I did adjust the pricing for that crack. It's $8 for the puppy planter, $8, and it's number 29. Number 29. Time for another angel. This is so sweet. Look at her. Now, let's just go over the facts of the matter. She's got one bow here. This bow over here is broke, okay? On the back, we've got this fun petal that is broke right there on the back. Then you look at the front, and the rest of it appears to be just fine, okay? That's, I mean, do you even notice that there's only one little part of the bow? Hardly, right? Oh, yeah, and here too, I'm sorry. Right there. Tiny little chip on the tip of that. So she is Sunday's angel. Do you see that? Sunday's angel. So I don't remember the whole way it went. Monday's child is full of grace. Tuesday's child is fair of face or something like that. I don't remember how it went. But that's Sunday's angel. And she is $10. And she is number 68. $10, number 68. Well, I can't believe nobody wanted the puppies. Hey, Sam. Girl. Not much more than a week now, girl. Hey, D. D, you got Sunday's Angel. Thank you, D. You guys, I'm putting this in the sale again, even though it was last week, I think. Nobody bought it. This pink milk glass fish is so cool. It's just so cool. And maybe you can't see the pink of it, but it's pink. It's a pale pink, but it's cool. It's $10 and it's number six. $10, number six. Oh, I just got a message that our um, president's son is having, or is at a restaurant in the town where my soul sister lives. So, so glad I'm in Kentucky. Um, is Laura still here? B Mouse, are you still here? Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, my goodness. She only had one wing. She only had one wing. Crap. Dee, do you still want her? <laughs> Who's sexy? What the heck is going on here? Yes, D, I am in Kentucky. Who is sexy? I mean, I know you guys aren't talking about me. Um. Anyway, have this deck of cards, double deck of cards. They are for Canasta, apparently. They are two brand new sealed. Look at that. They're sealed with a stamp. Packing, playing cards, U.S. and internal review. I don't know what that is. Um, these are some horses because I'm in Kentucky. Okay. Okay. 
Yes, I'm the nomad today, this week. <laughs> so these horse, this double deck of horse cards is $10 and it's number 51. $10, number 51. All right, another reappearance, you guys, is these, oh, these are amazing. Uh, these brass owls, do you see these? They are by Leonard, okay? Just like those ducks I had back when. Let's see that. They are um, in a variation of sizes. They're amazing. Look at them. Look. Who? 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 They are so cute, aren't they? You guys, they were twenty five dollars. I am giving them away for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for the set. They have a little weight to them, but they're awesome. And they're number 23, number 23 for the set of three owls for $20. Number 23. They're, they're, I mean, they're not light, but they're not the heaviest thing I've shipped. You know, because at least they're small, so they can go in a decent sized box or, you know. Kelly Miller, you got them. You guys, isn't this picture cute? Look at the little handle. Look at the little, you guys, look at the, like, the pore spout. How that shape is. Isn't that neat? Looks like a mouth. pretty design it looks to me it reminds me and there's no mark on the bottom it okay it does remind me a little little bit of that of that um that drip stuff but it also reminds me of nowadays when you go get coffee like at a coffee shop and they do the cute little swirly designs on it doesn't that look like something that's one of those fancy young baristas would do on your coffee drink? It's so cute. Anyway, it's only $6. $6 and it's number 48. Sorry, it'll, it'll get better again. It does that. I don't know what it is. $6, number 48. Really, 
Um, yes, you could use this for like a jump journaling if that's what you want to do with it. Um, I, I think it would be cool for, you know, in a display. Um, if you have any kind of military pieces or, you know, you know, somebody that, that served in this um, realm. Yeah, I know the sound and it'll get better, you guys. Anyway, it's $12. $12 and it's number 17. $12, number 17. Oh, I forgot about these other cards I have. Okay. I also have these Dale Earnhardt playing cards. I don't know what part of the country is into Dale Earnhardt, or was, I should say. Um, it's been a long time since he passed away, but um, these are brand new in the package. They are $5, and they're number two. Number two. Okay, you guys, this set, okay, um, Jane Newhouse, uh, I, I think you were trying to put in number two, so um, that's going to Jane Newhouse. Um, these, I just, I didn't, I never got to peel off the sticker all the way, you guys, I'm sorry. I just I grabbed them because I wanted to make sure I brought them with me. So um, I'll, you know, I'll clean them up before they get sent. But they are a pair of Holly Hobby um, shadow boxes. Hi, Gina. Oh, my God. Hey, girl. <laughs> That's one of my best friends, people. That's my lifelong, lifelong Anyway, the pair of shadow boxes. Look at them, how cute. They're $15 for the pair, and they're number 54. Number 54 for the pair. Oh my gosh, you guys, this piece is amazing. Thank you, Christy. You guys, this piece. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Isn't this something? Look at the crazing. Look at that. That's just part of it right there, part of it. Okay. It's it's got age, but it has no chips. Beautiful. This color, it doesn't it kind of look like watermelon a little bit. The color is really good. Anyway, it is $18 and it's number 67. $18, number 67. There's no marks on the back, on the bottom. Except, well, there's an M. I should have said that. There's an M. Beautiful. Kelly Muller, you got it. All right, you guys, this. Uh, 
This piece has been in a sale before, and I don't know why nobody bought it, but I'm giving you another shot. Look at this. I had a white one like this in college, and that was 1980, mid-80s. I put my jewelry in here, my rings, my bracelets, my whatever, necklaces, my everything. You could put whatever in here. So many things. So the bottom still has its original price from the home front. This is a an interdesign product by Interdesign Craft. It is amazing. Okay. It was 25 and I'm going to lower it to 20 and it's number 22. Number 22. So cool. You guys, this little, it's an ashtray. It's a souvenir of Florida, as it says. It's super cute. It's made in Japan. The colors are nice, but they're pale, so it's not real, like, boom in your face. Okay. Look at the flamingos. They're eight, it's $8. And it's number 15. $8, number 15. You guys, I'm sorry I said anything. Please, let's play nice. I should not have said anything, okay? Slick Hendrix, you got it. All right, this next tin is so pretty. It's uh, Riley's Toffee Tin. It's a uh, turquoise blue, the turquoise blue and black design here, and then flowers on the top. And it's, you can feel it, okay? It's like embossed in there. The inside, I wish it had some toffee in there. But I'll be honest, this is a tiny tin for toffee. <laughs> um, it's quite collectible. The container's made in Great Britain. Okay. Um, it was quite collectible online. There's this little mark from what must have been like a piece of tape back in the day. It's $10 and it's number 60. $10, number 60. And then there's this, and they even look cute together. This one is just plain, and I just got it. You know, it's nothing special. I just got it because it's cute. I thought it was a cute, plain, simple, goes with a lot of kitcheny stuff, right? And this is only $5, and it's number 38, number 38. Okay, these napkin rings are made in India. There are six of them. They've been in sale before, but nobody wanted them. Look how pretty. Pretty cool, boho y look. Six of these, $8, number 66. 
Number 66. Okay, now I have this pink vase. Again, I don't know what it, it looks like um, another number. It looks like it was 707 in there. Very hard to, to detect it. You can see it right there. Okay, look how pretty. This is, a weird like discoloration not discoloration it's like the paint like got stopped because it's not chipped it's just like they must have stopped the paint and didn't finish it right there but it's really cool there's some crazing it's very pretty okay this big it is $15 and it's number five $15 and it's number five. How's it going? Great. Look who's here, everybody. It's my host, Mary <laughs> Beth. Hey, everybody. <laughs> awesome. Yes. You're you're doing so good. Thanks. Well, you know, we'll probably go through a few items at the end that didn't sell, but okay. it happens. It's all good. Yeah. So, you guys, look what I have again. I've had this in sales before. Nobody bought it. Now, guess what I have? I got the little cup. I went and found one at Goodwill. And it fits right in so you can put a votive or a tea light or whatever in there see how that is and i'm not changing the price the price is still twelve dollars twelve dollars it's got a hook super cool boho and it is number 57 number 57 Crafty Jackie, you got it. Crafty Jackie. My neighbor. All right. This next item is, don't know how many are in here. I'm just going to show it to you. It's a bag. A bag of vintage clothespins. Okay. There's a lot in here. Okay. Just trying to see if there's any that are different. Oh, well, one like that. But look, you guys, there are some like, look at the head on that. So you got some, there's that kind. This one has a little thing around the wire. Here's a squared off one. Yeah, I got a variety in here. They're all vintage. Okay. Like I said, I don't know exactly how many are in here, but here's the bag. Okay. And it's going to be $5. $5 and it's number 40. $5, number 40. Didn't I put... All right, well, I guess I forgot these two other things, so. Um, these next two items are going to be going together. And I 
All right. Oh, yeah. One is big and one is smaller. These clown pictures. Um, I'm going to say this might be 12 by 18, I think. And then this one would be like, you know, 6 by 18. Okay, see ya. Celeste, I got you for the clothespins. Celeste, I got you for the clothespins. So for these two clown pictures, it'd be $15 and they're number 82. $15 for number 82. Okay, guys, continuing with my not really theme, but I'm in Kentucky, so theme-ish, is a covered dish with a horse on the cover, on the top. Okay. And it's from Maryland, China, in Japan. Um, I left the tape on there because they taped over it. And so I cut the tape around so that the tag, the sticker would stay on it. Okay. So it's this covered dish with this green um, horse and a horseman. <laughs> and it is $8 and it's number 25. $8 and it's number 25. <laughs> then I have a similar heart-shaped dish, slightly smaller. There's this like more of like a beaded edge down here. It is eight dollars and it is number fourteen. Number fourteen. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to have, <laughs> not anymore, Michelle, now I'm in Kentucky. Aren't you, are you in Kentucky or are you in Indiana? I don't remember. I'm sorry. Okay. Next up is the set of pink. His and hers towels. Mm-hmm. 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 Hers. And his. They are, you know, the standard size of a towel in the day. Not the big um, bath towels like we have nowadays. This is more of what your standard towel was. Okay. That's his and hers in pink. And the set is $6. And it's number 45. Terry, I'm going to be invoicing today for the items, okay? So you can pay that, and then uh, that way I'll know it's gonna be sold and held. 
And then uh, I'm because I'm gone until I won't be home until sometime Monday later. Later. And like next week, I have a sale. Also, college is starting for my kids. S or they're going. So um, hopefully we'll see how that Friday is going to go. I might be shipping on Sunday the 30th, unless you're in Chicago on the 29th. Um, we'll see how much shipping I get done Thursday after my sale. I'll do what I can. Um, but like I said, taking my daughter to college on the 28th. Um, my son, he's on his own, basically. <laughs> but um, anyway, did anybody want these? Yes, they did. I got Jackie for these. Crafty Jackie, you got the his and hers towels. Just a second here. All right. All right, this next item, I think of it as like um, a floor towel. It's this thicker towel. It's pretty sturdy, you know. Kind of get this edging. It's by um, Lady Pepperell. You remember her? <laughs> this blue, this this um, aqua blue, and this um, not sure what kind of green that is. But um, this is uh, four dollars, and it's number seventy-one. Four dollars, and it's number seventy-one. It's very thick. To me yeah bath mat michelle you got that this next one these are i i love these towels because they are like lint free, these linens. They, this, so you, to me, this is a towel, but you can use this as a runner or whatever. You can put it over your towel or your oven rack um, handle, your oven handle, I mean, or whatever. Um, this is quite fall ish, I guess. But look at the owl. Look at that owl. Look at the birds. So cool. Little woodpecker there. Another owl. This is really cool. Very cool. It's actually the title is Woodpecker <laughs> by Ulster. Made in Ireland. Hmm, okay. All pure linen. Um, it is five dollars and it's number thirty-four. Five dollars number thirty-four. Terry Sarsanella, you got that. This item is new, okay? There's still this little tab thing. Um, I think there was a sticker on it that fell off. It said blue hydrangea on it. It is stiff. It needs to be washed because it hasn't been yet. And it's like it's still together from that little little hanging thing. So it's this pretty blue hydrangea towel runner, whatever you want to use it as. It's a linen towel to me. Um, oh, here's another. See, okay, it's from the home home goods when home goods are most of first open because this is a little little got a little time on it. Okay, in my opinion, anyway. But it's just really cool, and it's got like dragonflies on it too it's really cute um blue hydrangeas it's five dollars and it's number 65 <laughs> lady pepperall was just a brand that i know of 
<laughs> All right, Terry Sarsanella, you got it. Okay, um, this next one, there are two of them available, I think. Let me, let me double check, because there might be, they might be different, or they might be the same. I can't remember now. Yeah, they're the same. That's what I thought. So I will um, I will sell them uh, one, you know, as a single to two people unless, you know, nobody wants. So this is what it looks like. Really cute with the yellow with the birds and then the lemon. And the bottom has that yellow border. Okay. And then this other one is the same thing. So there's this little sticker on it. I guess they probably came as a pair, but I'm selling singly. So they are $5 each, and they are number 47. <laughs> no, Crafty Jackie. I just went to a decent um, estate sale. And if I can get the linens that I like for the right price, then I get them. I am not generally that much of a linen girl. Um, but, you know, there are certain things. Like, I'm not a doily girl, really. Like a few of them, but, you know. <laughs> It does. It does look like the Partridge Family Girl. That's what I thought. Sabrina, did you see the clown pictures by chance? All right. So nobody wants the the yellow birds. Okay. This um this linen is from 1999. Now I don't know if anybody out there was born in 1999. Hey, Rach. But if you were, or if you like. Uh, lighthouses or whatever or yeah this is just lighthouses of America 1999 okay that is $5 and it's number 33 I'm not sure, um, Sabrina. I can let you know next week if I, you know, I don't think if, if I don't sell them in between. <laughs> um, then I have this linen. And you know what? The day that the video came out, oh, somebody said where this was in between somewhere and somewhere else. <laughs> So it's all in another language, but it's very pretty. See there? And it is $5 and it's number 16. Number 
This one, you guys, was um, from Mother Hubbard's Cupboard in Heartland, Wisconsin. The tag is still on it. It's brand new. And it's got these birds and flowers. And the same on the other side. It's $5 and it's number one. Uh, Rachel, it's amazing. It's better be better than being at home, better than being at a, a hotel. They got all the snacks I like. They got my coffee drink. They got my my breakfast crackers. Um, I they got it was a good shower. I slept real well. The the towels are so plush. I could like sleep on that. Um, <laughs> it's just been. Super cool already, and it's only the you know first like 24 hours, so I'm not sure if I'll ever leave, or I guess I'll leave, take the kids to college, and come back, something like that. I'll go get my Bella. We'll see. Bella would love the yard here, um, but probably get in. I think Bella would be okay with Dixie, and Dixie eventually be okay with Bella. They're both kind of skittish in different ways. But there's a cat that resides in this manor that is pure evil. And I had been warned. And then, um, yes, they got me Belvita. I'm not kidding. They get okay, not only Michelle, I'm not kidding you. Not only did they get me Belvita, it's in the um the little lazy Susan cabinet, you know, in the kitchen. It's also, do you see this right here? They got me a basket that's got a, I'll, when I'm done, I'll show you. Okay. Well, let me just say this was in there too. And you know, I love these too. Not even kidding. Oh, Jocelyn. Hey girl. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Okay. This next item, is it, has any, was anybody born in 1960? This. Another 100% pure linen item from the year 1960. I have one from my 1966, and I have it hanging on my um, refrigerator. Um, and this says, bless this house, O Lord, we pray, make it safe by night and day. And it has this cute little house and people and their little wagon and then you could get a wooden dowel to put through here and a little string on the dowel and you could just hang it up <laughs> well you know what jocelyn like linens are not my favorite thing but i found just this pile at a really good price i don't like doilies and a lot of the i like it when they are folded so nice like this and then they fold right back up that I don't mind at all. Anyway, that is $5 and it's number 31. Now, this is the last item somewhat. Uh, you know, I'll go back through everything else. I have 69 people watching. So um, that's awesome. I know it's down from what I was, but that's still great. I'm happy. Uh, Pete's repeats. Pete's repeats. I got you for the 1960 calendar linen. Pete's repeats. Please make sure to send me your actual name, your mailing address, your PayPal information. Yes. I have this amazing children's songbook. It is pristine. Do you see this? It is amazing. I'm going to go through some of these songs, okay? It's um, illustrated. It has all these songs. Let me just show you. Humpty Dumpty. Mm -hmm. There's all these songs. Now, I probably haven't heard of all of these songs. 
My little pony. Hmm. Trot, trot, trot. Trot my pony, trot. Where it's smooth and where it's stony. Trot along, my little pony. Never, never stop. Trot, my pony, trot. And that was a children's song. Okay. Go in and out the windows. Okay. A mulberry bush. I think we're all a little familiar. Bobby Shafto. I have never heard. That sounds shady. That's all I'm saying. ABC Tumble Down D. Okay. ABC Tumble Down D. Cat's in the cupboard and can't see me. Look, the cat's in the cupboard. Let me tell you. If the cat's in the cupboard here, we're safe. It's when he's not in the cupboard that we're not. Because he gave me the side eye today. But at least he didn't hiss or growl. He literally, I think he spoke in tongues last night. He was, yeah, like crazy. Not even toward me. Farmer in the Dell. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the good one. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Can you or I or anyone know how oats, peas, beans, and barley grow? Wow. I mean, maybe I'm a songwriter. I don't know. Where is my little dog gone? Wee Willy Winky. Oh. Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs, in his nightgown, rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children all in bed for for it's now eight o'clock? <laughs> London Bridge, Mary Little Lamb, Humpty Dumpty. Look at Humpty Dumpty. Is she still watching? I don't know. Uh, Little Boy Blue, Georgie Porgy, Jack and Jill. My son's name is Jack and my BFF's name is Jill. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater, Tom Tom the Piper Son. Oh, here's one. Um. Hey, Mary Beth, yeah. are you familiar with the song Ride a Cock Horse? What? Ride a Cock Horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine light lady up on a white Ride horse. A horse. Yeah, I've heard that. Well, it must be a Paducah song. It must be. Because I never heard about riding a cock horse. Yeah. I don't really know what that means, but I've heard that before. That's a uh, country. Okay. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Peas, porridge, hot. Okay, little Jack Horner, Jack Scrat, little Tommy Tucker, Ding Dong Bell, Billy Boy. Oh, where have you been, Billy Boy, Billy Boy? Oh, where have you been, charming Billy? I have been to seek a wife. She's the darling of my life. She's a young thing and cannot leave her mother. Oh, my. Okay. There came to the window. Dame, get up. Dame, get up and bake your pies. Bake your pies and bake your pies. Dame, get up and bake your pies on Christmas Day in the morning. I think I've heard that, actually. Mary Mary, quite contrary. Little Bo Peep. cock a doodle do. My dame has lost her shoe. My master's lost his fiddling stick and doesn't know what to do. No! You can't lose your fiddling stick. That's the worst thing. Whatever will he do? Hark, hark, the dogs do bark. A hunting we will go. A tisket, a tasket. Little Miss Muffet. Bow wow, says the dog. Sing a song of sixpence. Hey, diddle, diddle. Ten little Indians. That's inappropriate now, isn't it? Hmm? Look at all the little Indians. There's probably 10 of them on the page, I'm guessing. Sleep, baby, sleep, and rock my baby. And look, isn't that cool how it's like literally on in the inside page? That's very neat. This book is made in Racine, Wisconsin. Sunshine Li Library Binding. United School Library Book Company, Racine, Wisconsin. This thing is in perfect condition. Looks to be untouched by anyone other than me. Now, 
you guys saw all the great stories, songs, pictures, illustrations, whatever you want to say in here. I am, this is a steal for $8, a steal for $8. The number is 62, 62. Ferns finds, you got it. Okay, you guys, next I have either I can reshow things or I have a box of bottles that I um I have not looked at, I'm not prepared, but I can sell them. So are you up for Bottles first, and then a recap, or a recap, and then maybe bottles. Okay, I'm going to recap things. Sir, okay, unless I get a re... Unless I get a, a specific um, request, I'm just going to go back to the beginning of uh, the items that didn't sell. Got Marge and and Hank. Okay. Marge has a little chip on her nose. Um, she's got her babushka on. See, you know that they are um, Hank and Marge because it says Hank. And it says Marge. And also, Doris is the one that made them. Okay. They were $15. I will do 12. I'll do 12. Look, come, come on, you guys. Look at these two. They need a better place to be. They're looking a little perturbed. I'll do $12, and they are number four. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right, Jackie. This next item um, that didn't sell is called the Dragons and Phoenix. Um, it's an abacus. It's the it's smaller. Do they have lashes? No, they're they're there's nothing coming like off of it. No. <laughs> um. So we had looked this up, uh, Laura and I, and there were variations of pricing. So the pre I mean, the cost, the value of this is quite um, considerable. This is a five column, I believe. Yeah, five column abacus. And this is very Asian inspired here, see? Uh, I had fifth. I had eighteen on this, and I will do fifteen. I'll do fifteen dollars, and it's number fifty-three. Number fifty-three. I'm sure they love you, Rachel. I I, I believe that you probably take really good care of them. This didn't sell. The naked pottery, you guys. She's got the perky bosom. She's a hand, handmade piece of pottery. She's made by Jane Reeser, Peaser, Jane Peaser. You know, you want this sitting on your end table. Come on now. It's uh, $12. I'll do 10. 
ten dollars and it's number sixty nine. And there's this, it, it gives me the feeling, uh, uh, the look of chalkware or metal, but it's like a composite resin. It's, ha it's very, um, what do you want to call it? It's very sturdy. It's very neat looking. I like that. Anyway, it's twelve dollars. I'll do ten. I'll do ten dollars on this. It's number forty one. Now this I can't believe nobody got. This is false graph set. It's these false graph birds, salt and pepper. They are, it's either winter wood or nature wood, something like that. Salt and pepper. And their little nest. They're really nice. Very nice. They are um, $22. I, I can do $20. $20 for number 75. Oh yeah, then I have this the um the doctor that looks like a, a yadro. He's an old doctor, it, and it is very yadro esque. Very yadro esque. It's got the that little bit there back there. It's by Price Products. Okay, and um the yadros are eighty and up. Okay. This you can get for $20 and probably pass it off as a Yadro. $20, number 30. $20, number 30. Oh, you guys, this Dare tin, Dar, Dare, I still don't know. I have to look it up. It's so pretty. It's made in England, Dareton. Very nice. It has this little bit of a dimension, I guess, to it. I had eight. Wait, where is the price? Had 15 on it. I can do 12. $12, and it's number 52. $12, number 52. Um, then I have the awesome swirl pottery. It's got just the slightest little like imperfections in the glazing like that. Like it's just very light um, coloration. And then like right there. But it's like, you know, all the natural kind of things you expect in a nice piece of pottery. And this doesn't have any marks on it. And I was asking 15, but I can do 12 on this. $12. And it's number 26. Oh, nobody got this. Oh, I can't believe it. Brass is everything nowadays. It's like a brass chalice. It's a little bit in between shine it up or let it go with the patina. <laughs> um, I like to let it go with the patina, but right now it's really kind of cool because you do have some of that shine, but um, but then you have the, the patina starting to come in. It's pretty amazing. 
you can use this just as like I just say put it in a vignette the way it is I wouldn't put anything in it but look at it I just like this the like the interest there in the shape um you could put an air plant in here you could put a little candle in there um I had eight dollars on this and I will do um I guess I'll do six bless you I'll do six on this and it's number 58. Wow, I can't believe some of these pieces that didn't sell. This gorgeous. Oh no, this did sell. What am I looking at? Um, this, these these skunks didn't sell. They only have a little chip on the back there. On the back. And then there's this little paint like loss or well you know chip somewhat right there but look aren't they adorable for you people like all your critters they are very vintage very cute salt and peppers they were 15 i can do 12 and they're number 18 number 18 Um, this this Jeanette glass double candle holder, so pretty, you guys, so pretty. What did you do, number fifty-two for that? Five dollars. Let me check here. Sure, sure, Michelle. Nine? Yeah. Okay, I will. You got that, Michelle. So anyhow, this this is chipped down here, okay? you can't even see that you see a little bit like just that that's all you see but then you have to realize that you turn you are welcome michelle <laughs> it's this really pale pink it's so pretty it's so pretty and then to have the double you know very elegant the, i had 18 i will do 15 i will do 15 it's number 64 number 64 how has nobody wanted this barrel of beer coolest thing barrel of beer it was twelve dollars i'll do ten ten dollars for the barrel of beer ten dollars it's number 20 number 20 You guys, I wish I had some some um, sugar packets I could show you that you put the sugar packets in here, okay? Um, I mean, whatever. You could put a deck of cards in here. You could put, you know, toothpicks in here. You could put, you could put tea bags in here. Who am I to tell you where to put your tea bag? <laughs> you could put that in here. $15 it was. I'll take it down to $12. $12 and it's number three. Number three. And I just realized another item that I didn't um, have listed. So let me uh, just set, write this down real quick. 
Um, grab a number. Grab a number, number, number. And I got these little cherub wall pockets. Okay. They have this fake greenery in them already, but you could take it out. See there, the hole. You're probably going to need to take this off and put new sticky stuff on there. There's two of them, these little cherubs. They feel like wood, but I would say they're like a light resin is what I would call that. And you don't have to keep these fake flowers in there. You can put different fake flowers in. You can put an air plant in. You could put whatever you want in there or nothing at all. You could put a little wood piece across and make it like a little, little um, tiny shelf. Anyway, I'll do the pair for $12. The pair for $12, number 76. Number 76 for the pair. Mm -hmm. So I got this, um, what I was, I guess what we'll call restaurant wear or um, airline wear, airline wear. It's a TWA plate, okay? It's $8. I'll do six. I'll do six. And it's number 32. Number 32. This gold, um, like embossed. Poodle for the pink vase. Um, no. This one? I didn't. No, I didn't. How am I missing that? I don't see it. But this one, hi, Nate. Also, I just saw, okay, TWA, or uh, Pete's repeats, you got the TWA dish for $6. Um, is this the one that Puda Schnuda got or wants? Number five. It's the one, Puda. Number five, hang on. Oh, okay. This was number five. This one, Puda. Okay, this one for fifteen. Nate, you took away your 1969? What's up with that? Okay, you got it, Puda. Um, so I still have... This tin, it's like uh, you were aging yourself. Oh, that's not nice. I'm I'm uh, 66, so I'm even three years older than you. Okay. Anyhow, doesn't Michael already know how old you are? <laughs> so I I just this thing is so cool. I think this is a really neat tin. For anybody that is into the color gold or this kind of gilding look, it's kind of, it's very lightweight. Oh, shush. You hush, Rachel. Yes, Thrill of, 
Yes, D, born in. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 66. I was born in 66. You goofballs. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this was 12 and I will do 10. It was 12 and I will do 10 and it's number 11. Number 11 for $10. I, um, I'm still holding out to see Nate. I drive, it drives me crazy actually not to see what people look like. Um, oh yeah, nobody bought the puppy, the puppy planter. It's got a little crack here. But it's so cute. It was $8. I'll do six. I'll do six. And it's number 29. Look how cute it is. Number 29 for $6. For, yeah, there you go. Thanks, Jane. Okay, the next item that I still can't believe nobody bought is this pink milk glass fish. It is the neatest thing ever. It was $10. I'm going to do eight. I'm going to do eight. I don't think you're getting the full effect of this pink because it's so nicely lit in here. But it's this nice pale pink. And it's milk glass. And it is now $8. And it's number six. $8 number six. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go watch. All right, I don't know if BMOS is back or not, but here's the cards that didn't sell. These are the um, the horse cards. It's a double deck. It says Canasta. It says Play Canasta. And then there's two brand new decks of cards sealed in this box. All right, well, Dragon Value, thank you very much for joining. I hope that you hit the um, subscribe and I also hope that you will um, maybe hit the notification bell. All right. So here's these. Um, they're $10. $10 for number 51. Number 51. Thank you, Sandra. Number 51 for $10. Um, I still have this soldier's handbook, which is actually from Kentucky, oddly enough. Oh, thank you, Dragon Value. That's so sweet. I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Celeste. Amen, sister. Suze, I agree. So anyway, you guys, this booklet, I had 12 on it. I will do 10. $10 for the Soldier's Handbook from 1965. Um, and it's uh, number 17. Number 17. And these shadow boxes that I still have to peel the stickers off of, but I wanted to grab them and get out the door. <laughs> they are adorable. Bye, Diana. See them? Can you see them good? They're so cute. Look at her playing with a raggedy Ann. Look at that cuckoo clock. 
Look at her baking cookies. Look at the cat watching her. These are adorable. I had $15 on the pair. I can do 12. 12 for the pair. And they have the hooks on the back, you guys. 12 for the pair. And they're number 54. Number 54. Oh, you guys, you're killing me with this. I can't believe. Hey, Suze, you got it. Suze, you got the Holly Hobbies. Um, you guys, this, you do you, does anybody not understand the amazingness of this? Look, I'll, I'll show you. Take off your rings. Okay, and you set them in here. Close it up. Take off your earrings. You set them in there. Close it up. Everything is gone. Put away. Next day, you get up. Open it back up. Grab it. So easy. Put in your earrings. Okay. Oh, just swirl it over. There's my rings right there. I don't have to open 18 dating drawers to try to find my jewelry. It's all right there. Okay. Boom. You got it all right here. It is all in this neat tan organizer. It is, I had marked it down to $20. $20 from $25. And it's number 22. Number 22. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't have this one in college. I had a white one. Would probably look like this if it sat in the sun since the 80s. But, um, well, it would look worse probably. <laughs> but... Yeah, you could paint this if you want. I mean, but this goes with anything. And this is giving me all the 80s, you guys. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. So, this Riley's tin. Uh, this is so super cute, too. I have some really good tins in here. Um, this is $10. This is Riley's Toffee's tin. No, I wouldn't paint it. I'm just saying, if people really want to, whatever. This is super cute. Anyway, this is ten dollars. I'll do eight. I will do eight. Look at that. The bottom part's pretty cool, actually. $10 and it's number 60, $10 and it's number 60. And then this one is $5, I'll do four. $4 on number 38, the green chef. Look how cute they would look. $4, number 38. Um, these, you guys are killing me that you don't want these. Um, okay. Stella is getting, uh, number eight. Wait, what's number eight? Stella, did you want... Stella, what did you want? Number eight is already gone. And then, Suze, you're getting number 38. Suze, you're getting number 38. Which is, or was, is. Suze, you're getting the green check 10. Oh, sorry, Stella. Um, you guys, these napkin rings, I am, I don't understand yet. I am bringing you these cool India, made in India napkin rings for all your table settings. 
eight dollars i'll do six dollars i'll do six dollars for eight or six napkin rings and six dollars for number 66 66 Stella, you got them. Stella, you got them. Way to go. Um, I have these clown pictures that, um, Sabrina, you're wanting to know what the, the shipping is going to be on these. I think... So I'm just going to um, see you when I get home. Okay. Um, and then I've got these covered dishes. These covered dishes. Um, they are both from Maryland, China, Japan. There's a round one. And then there's the heart one. They both are have a green horse with a man on the horse. Okay. They're both $8. I can do $6. $6. Okay. The round one is number 25. And the heart is number 14. Uh, what am I missing her say? <laughs> oh, you got them, Suze. You got them. And then I have these linens that I still have. Oh, wait. What about that boot? I'm going to put that boot today. Good day. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, these uh linens that I still have some uh, available. Um, these two yellow ones. They were five dollars each. All right, well, thanks, Jane. I'll, I'll uh, be invoicing you. Ain't too proud to leave, sweet baby. Please don't leave me now. Don't you go. Ain't too proud to leave, baby, baby. Don't you leave me now. Don't you go. I don't know all the words to that song. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And plus, you know, shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> so these are the two towels that are still available. This is, um, they're, they're both the same. Okay. They have the cute little bird. They have the yellow leaves. And then there's this this um, a lemon and there's a yellow border at the bottom. Um, I was asking $5 for each. I can do $4 for each. And they're number 47, number 47. This is the, um, this is so cool, you guys. And, um, you know, it can be something that, you like because you were born in the year. All right, Annie. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm here for you, girl. I'm here for you. Um. Oh. Oh gosh. Um. Oh. Can't get it in my head, Michelle. Um, Cause now all I got in my head is 
Yeah, you know. This is uh, for anybody that loves these. If anybody collects these linen calendars, or if you love lighthouses of America, <laughs> or if there's a special meaning of the year 1999, and you can get a wooden dowel and put it through here and a string or whatever, and you will be all set. And this is $5 and it's number 33, $5, number 33. Annie, did you want one or two? Okay, you got them, Annie. Then there's this one, um, the Lago Maggiore o Urbano. Not only did I speak another language, but I read it backwards from behind here. You guys, give me a little credit here. I have no idea where the heck it is. I feel like it's Italy somewhere, but I thought somebody said it was somewhere. But I don't know. I can't remember at all. Now you're going to try to fake it. Because, you guys, my brain is full of so much fun and goodness right now. It's about to explode. So I can't try to do more. I can't. It's $5 and it's number 16. Number 16. Okay, Michelle, um, what I have to say to that is look at me. Okay, this is trying. I mean, I had my hair down. Okay, I, I came. Okay, I, I left the house for a week. I somehow managed to forget my my um my, my blow dryer and my drying brush and my flat iron. So I took a shower this morning and I let my hair be, you know, and then it's all like crazy and then it bothers me a little bit, you know, because when it's warm, it's just there's something about it. And I just like to have it up. So, boom, there it is. This is not anything spectacular. Oh, hush. See, how can you say that to me? And then you have a problem with yourself. So, see, that's not fair. Mm -mm. Nah. I do not accept that answer. All right. This other one is brand new. Still has tags on it. It's the same on both sides. Super cute with the bird and the flowers. Is five dollars and it's number one. Number one. The this is the big deal one to me. It's the number sixty. I mean the nineteen sixty. Bless this home, O Lord. We pray. Make it safe by night and day. And you could put the wooden dowel in there too. That's five dollars, and that's number thirty. Oh, wait, somebody got that one. Darn it! Somebody got that. Why didn't somebody stop me? <laughs> All right. It, now, do you guys want to see the bottles or not? Yeah, you got it. I'm sorry, Pete. I can show the bottles, or. Okay, bottles. All right. They're filthy. They're filthy. Oh, this is cool. Fleecy white. One quart.
fleecy white. I'll do eight dollars on this fleecy white, and that's uh, going to be number twenty-eight. Number twenty-eight. I don't even know. No research on this, you guys. No research. I'm just going at it. Fleecy white. Yeah, girl, you didn't see this. And see all of this. Take another little piece of my heart now, baby. Take it. Take another little piece of my heart. Oh, don't you know? I'll be singing that later tonight, I'm sure. You can do five dollars on the angel with the broken wing. Hmm. Let me check. The Angel with the Broken Wing, Sunday's Child. I think D bought Sunday's Child. Is D still here? D, didn't you buy the Angel with the Broken Wing? But I don't know if she knew that the wing was broken. If D's still D got this, so if yeah. Sorry, Maria. Anyway, nobody for the bottle? Nobody, nobody, nobody. Got this bottle. Just a clear bottle, 439. I don't know anything about this. You can do five dollars on this bottle. Five dollars. <laughs> um, let me try to channel it and I might be able to, Terry. Um, this bottle's five dollars and it's number forty-two. Oh wait. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? I knew I couldn't start at the beginning of I'm probably killing poor Mary Beth in there. Anybody? Anybody? No, you didn't buy that? I already bought her. Yeah, you did buy it. Okay, wait, what? Wait. No, you didn't know. Okay, Um, but I'll... Okay, um, D. Do you want her for six dollars, D? Because you did claim it first. Okay, here we got a beer bottle. Blatz, Milwaukee. Yeah. Blatz, Milwaukee with the triangle down there. That's awesome. That's $8. $8. Number 39. <laughs> okay, you guys, D. That's so funny, uh, Rachel. No, I got these at a sale. I just took the whole box. I just took the whole box. Basically sight unseen. So here's another box or bottle. It says made in USA. Oh. It's got the H A. So is that Hazel Atlas? Because there's no anchor. The H and then the A is under the H. You see it? Help me out here, Rach. I know this is up your alley. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, Hazel Atlas. So this Hazel Atlas bottle is $6. $6. And it's number nine. I 
I'm getting dirty. Okay, this one's from Caro, Caro Syrup. This one's a Caro Syrup bottle. I'll do $2 on that. $2. $2. And it's number 72. This one's a little more of a shorty. It's got a B with a circle. I'm not really sure about that. This is cool. This is pretty cool. The inside's got some sludge, not sludge, but some good age looking, you know. So um, this one is uh, five bucks and it's number 59, $5 for 59. Oh, this is, oh, this is very different. Okay, it says ball. Hmm, I might need to keep this. It says ball and it's in this shape. It's very cool. Um, I'm going to say 15 on this. It says ball. And it's got this, like, scallop. 15, and it's number 19. Never saw something like that, ever. Okay, here's another amber. I don't know what's in that. Okay, so it's a little smaller. Five dollars, five dollars is number sixty one. Yeah, it does, but it says ball on the bottom, like ball jar. Yeah, this one is, I don't know what this is. It's a hazel atlas as well. It's got the H and the A, so I don't know what the heck is going on here. It's crazy. It's got the H and the A. See it right there? There you go. You got that, D. You got it. Um, so I will do on this uh, clear hazel atlas jar here, I will do $6. $6. I might be crazy. I don't know what's going on. Smaller ones now. Oh, I got another angel. I thought I did. You know, when I was unwrapping stuff, I thought I had. Sorry, hang on. Just give me a second, everybody. Okay, I do this angel. She is Wednesday's child. She's got both of her wings. However, she's got a chipped flower up there. She's got a chipped flower right there. I think that's it. She's left in. Otherwise, aside from those two little things, she looks to be quite lovely. See? She's got like an orangish dress. 
Hold on just a minute, Michelle. I'll let you know. Okay, and she's going to be twelve dollars, twelve dollars, and she's going to be number. Um, I'm sorry, number eighty. Twelve dollars, number eighty. Number on last hazel atlas bottle. Um, this one, Michelle, it's number 73. Okay, we're down to the last sub, last handful of them. This might be an old vanilla bottle or something. So it's got this ridge. It's the glass. 73. You got it, Pete's. Pete's repeats. I got you. Um, so this little, like it could be rum, uh, extract or vanilla extract, whatever. Um, I'll do, uh, three bucks on this and that's number 50, number 50. <clears throat> we got this one. It says white hall. Whitehall, a little smaller, $4, $4, number 87. Oh, this one is Chesboro, New York. Cheeseboro, Chesboro, New York. I don't know. No, it, I'm sure it was an ointment or something. I'll do three dollars. Um, Fat Bird, Fat are doing. Uh, they're they're in the four way sale with Patrick on his sale tonight, and and then of course flipping and sipping tomorrow. Annie, out and about. You got the White Hall jar or bottle. So this little clear stout jar. Stout being short and chubby. Um, is three dollars and it's number 83. Then there's this small white hall jar or yeah, I guess it's a jar. It's three dollars. It's three dollars, and it's number eighty-nine. This is a Vicks Vaporub jar. This is five dollars. Annie, I got you for that small one. Five dollars. It's number eighty-one. I'm leaving Monday morning. <laughs> Crafty Jackie, you got the cobalt blue. Okay, so nobody wanted Wednesday's Child for ten or twelve dollars. Wednesday's Child, the um, it was eighty nine, but Annie out and about got it. D. So the bottles, um. 
small ones mostly went. So we got this Blatt's bottle. Blatt's, you guys. Milwaukee. Blatt's, it's heavy. I mean, not like ridiculous heavy, but it's it's cool. It's different. And that's uh, those $8 and it's number 39. Um, 87 was that, that larger white hall amber jar. But Annie got that one too. Okay. Is that it then, everybody? Did anybody want anything else that I um, have not sold? Hank and Marge. Um, the abacus, the naked pottery. Nobody wanted the naked pottery. Oh, I'm not leaving yet, elderly Puda. Puda Schnuda. I'm almost leaving though. <laughs> the gold horse head. The fake Yadro. <laughs> the false craft birds. What about this last this other piece of pink swirl pottery? Nobody got this for twelve dollars. I marked it down to twelve. Oh I'm gonna. Oh I am I am gonna. <laughs> We had so much fun yesterday already, and it was like I got here. I didn't get here until like 7.30 at night. And I think we went to bed like probably, ah, I would say 11.30-ish, 12-ish. And, you know, they have work today and tomorrow. So 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. No, I can't. Puta Shenouda, listen. <laughs> not that I am, I'm just going to sit here and talk. I'm not. But um, Mary Beth is still working. Everybody's still at work today for a little while longer. So I'm going to end up cleaning up my stuff is what I'm going to do. Or like, um, yeah, she did. Um, I'm going to do my invoicing. So if you guys would please, please, please. How much for this? It is, I marked it down to 10. It was 12. I marked it down to 10. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, pack up. I'm going to, I'm going to bill you guys. And please, if you could um, promptly pay, that would be fantastic. And then next week I will bill you for the shipping. And if you buy something else next week, then I will be putting it all together. Okay. Bertie Lou, you want this for 10? Okay, you got it. Awesome. I love it that somebody got that. And nobody got the, this is another piece I think is so cool. <sighs> and this, nice. 
Yeah, if you don't have the app, you should, first of all. But yeah, check your email for your PayPal, people. And again, if you watch this back, and if you see something that you want that I didn't sell, let me know, and I will work it all out for you. So, yes, please make sure to send me your information if we've never had a sale with each other before. Um, or if you think you're not sure, like you're not sure if it was me or Misty or somebody else, just send it to me anyway. And um, just let me know your real name, your PayPal address, and your mailing address. And then when I PayPal you the invoice, please pay it, and then we'll be all set. And next week, because I'm gone out of town, for anybody who doesn't know, I do not live here. I'm in Paducah right now visiting that Bird Vines. And I am going home Monday sometime. So, you know, Monday I'm driving. So I won't get home until later on Monday. And then, um, so yeah, and then I got to get ready for my sale. But also um, college. So, yeah, it's going to be busy. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thanks, everybody. Um <laughs> You guys, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me on location. And please bear with me in the next few days also, because last couple of days I haven't really responded to messages. In the next few days, I probably won't either. I am enjoying being in the moment. Um, I will try to get some stuff on video, and you will see me popping in places. Yes, you will. Um, but. Uh, also, I'm just enjoying this, uh, this vacation, because it's what it is for me. It's vacation and it's a work trip, and it's been great, and it's going to continue to be great, and you're great, and thank you so much. And thanks, you guys. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you. And, Suze, I will see you next weekend. So, yes. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. All right, you guys. Bye.